Hello wonderful people, welcome back to the channel and uh, Eid Mubarak to all of you once again because second day of Eid. So we have, if you do not know, uh, we Muslims have uh, Eid like your uh, Christmas or Puja or uh, you know any other religious festival. So ours is like three day long. So Bangladesh is um, enjoying right now at this moment about eight to nine days of holidays. So in Dhaka right now it's kind of emptier, uh, city is empty, uh, people are relaxed and most mostly are in hometown. So I would like to wish all of the Muslims uh, Salam Atayraya, my Malaysian and Singaporean Indonesian friends, uh, mostly Malaysian because I used to live in Malaysia. So Salam Atayraya, Aitil Fitri. So hopefully you guys have a nice Bali Kampong and have a nice Eid and Eid work to all of you. So today I want to do a review of uh, and my uh, of fun. I want to do a review of Amouage House and this is perhaps at this current moment my top favorite Amouage fragrance for men. So this fragrance has few things, 50 and 100 ml bottle sizes, let me clear that up. And they come in EDP and they have made in UK and Oman. Oman is generally where this is originates from. This is a Oman royal family owned house and it's a very posh, luxurious niche house. They have been around for many, many years and I have actually been lucky enough to try. I'm so sorry, my dress is bothering me. So it has been around for many years and people love this house. If you go to Amouage uh, in Fragrantica, you will see most of the fragrance have a lot of love. This fragrance are loved by people who are uh, lover of niche fragrances and these fragrances are not cheap. Usually they come in like $300 plus in Malaysia I've seen. These are worth the $450 plus for a big bottle. So yeah, but we are lucky enough. I got this fragrance for uh, below $200 thanks to uh, Stalin Enterprise. I think it was nearby $180. So give or take big bottle. So those are information I gave you already. And uh, bottle I'll show you, presentation I'll show you. And I do apologize if it, this one goes a little bit in depth because I would like to break it down after I tell you the notes. And I'll show you some other, my favorite MOH that I loved and I reviewed. And I'll leave the link below uh, of the other MOH reviews I did. Uh, one of the sample reviews I did, this fragrance made the top number one out of 12 or 14 odd samples. Okay, so you can tell why I bought the full bottle. So anyway, let me show you my scent of the morning first was Mansara Black Gold. Um, it's one of my most favorite um, niche fragrance or favorite fragrance of all time. Beautiful, sweet, leathery uh, fragrance in this. Okay, so here we go. So let me show you the box. This is how the box looks. I'll tell you one thing. The texture they put on their presentation, uh, it actually represents what kind of perfume to expect. Okay, so this is like got this woody texture. It has Amouage in front, Epic, the name of it. And uh, it actually opens up from bottom. I don't have the bottle inside because it's very risky. I'll tell you why. And this this woody texture looks like almost snake skin as well. And then I put the sticker at the back from the uh, plastic because I love this MOR stickers. Very nice premium golden stickers. And then the barcode up there. It says EDP uh, and for men. And then they have the royal crown. Yep. And bottom, this is where you're going to find the other information in the sticker. They'll mention made in Oman or made in UK. So I prefer, tend to prefer... Oman of course because they are generally known to be a little bit like they do not have that uh, regulation so they can use utilize all their ingredients so this is going to be more potent at times but sometimes they are just about the same with UK not much major difference but people say Oman is better so I look for always Oman but UK versions are not bad so this one also to the side has some uh, writing in Japanese or Korean I should have done my research I don't know what this maybe it says epic in their language so I don't know that uh, history of this someone knows please comment below and let others know so it opens like that and inside got this velvety uh, like a podium here where the bottle sits and inside for extra uh, cushioning for uh, you cannot see because it's all dark in there so yeah so this one if the bottle moves around it will stop it from getting broken and stuff but I'll tell you one thing Amorges they usually sit like that and it doesn't sit very deep down. I showed you in my previous Amouage. This Amouage house should do a little bit higher up like Tom Ford's or some other house. If it's like until here, then the bottle is sitting deep down there. Because once you open the box, many people knock it off and then this one falls. Very dangerous. You know, I do not like that part of Amouage uh, presentations. And the bottle is just gorgeous. Look at that emerald green bottle. It's just uh, fit for a king. Just like that has that crest it's raised you can feel it it's uh, sticking uh, above the bottle and it says name of the house 
have the Swarovski gemstone green one, gold and metallic and magnetic cap with the royal crown kind of. And the name would be here, Epic Man. You cannot pick it up. Bottom, you cannot find anything. I think, yeah, you can find, but it's all laser. It's not sticker. If you put LED, you can read. At the back, plain and simple. I love this gorgeous presentation. So this fragrance, you can pick it up by the cap, but I would suggest be careful because these are pricey. As I told you, let it go. Magnetic. Uh, the sprayer on these are not absolutely the best, but, you know, um, they do their job and I do not need so much of it. Let me spray this and talk about it. Let me show you the sprayer. Just go one. This is a special occasion fragrance. It's not a casual fragrance. I would not wear this uh, like liberally or casually. If you want, you can. But this is a very special occasion fragrance, formal fragrance. So let that settle down on my skin. And let me read you the notes from it officially. Oh man, this is just lovely. This is just gorgeous. And I may say that this is my most favorite air wash at this moment. So this was released in 2009. And the perfumer for this is Randa Hamami. I think he's the in-house perfumer for many of the air wash. And air wash Epic Man has the, you know, like this particular fragrance, there's a story. Uh, the fragrance uh, is inspired by like, let's say, the legend of ancient Silk Road from China to Arabia, okay? And the female one, I don't want to know. So it evokes the goods that were objects of trade in Asia. Gold, pearls, tea, silk, jade, spices and incense. Okay, so the goods they used to trade back in the time. Uh, this is the inspiration. Like these products were the inspiration for this particular fragrance. And uh, they have uh, like... Uh, notes like okay let me tell you the opening top notes let me read out um it has a uh, pink pepper cardamom saffron nutmeg at the top then heart has geranium and myrrh and the base has a precious wood wood and uh, patchouli leather and incense so i'll tell you what i really get from this fragrance those are the official notes but this fragrance is basically to my nose it comes off as very uh unique uh, this one once you smell it's not like your other uh, amouage like you expect very spicy very incensey this one has the feel of green to my nose i said it's it's maybe the bottle it's sort of like a niche version of polo green and i stick to that somewhat uh, you know the same way but i think this is way better than polo green polo green has some common notes with this like uh green woody notes uh, they have leather, they have incense, those three, four notes maybe remind me of that, but that's very synthetic, the modern version. But back in the day, Polo Green used to be the man. Every man loved that fragrance. It was beast. It used to last all day. It was to give you a feeling of forest, you know, like uh, Ralph Lauren Safari, that one, Pakoraban Purom, those green fragrances. So Pakoraban Purom still in its same glory, I would say. This fragrance has still had a green gem of mine, but it's not exactly the same with this. So this fragrance opens up beautifully. To my nose, it's green. But what I really picked up from this basic, um, the what to expect major notes are pink pepper, cardamom, saffron, leather, incense, and wood. Wood, O-U-D, wood. And the wood is not the prominent note in this. You hear the notes, you might think this is an animalic fragrance. And that's where it will take you by surprise because it is those, but done in a very suit way, you know, like, like if imagine like men in suit, it's a suited up kind of perfume, okay? It doesn't have any rough edges. It's polished to uh, like the best way possible. It's polished like anything luxurious. It, it reminds me sort of like a Jaguar, okay, car. Jaguar Roadster sort of car or uh, something very expensive, premium Bentley cars, that posh. Uh, this is definitely, I think men and women both can rock it even though this is for men. Women would really smell lovely with this because if they have the characteristics, they have a little bit classy, classiness about them, they have a little bit class, they can pull it off. Men who are bosses. <laughs> if you are a boss, you act like a boss, you walk like a boss and you like authority. This is like authority. Uh, it's not like Kuros, Animalic, it's not like Polo Green, it's, it's like none of those. But those spices, that incense, that leather, this is dominant. If you can imagine a green leather belt, right and authentic if you go to a store and you see like green leather but sniff it you know i think you're gonna get feel of that golden and green sort of combo and the woody 
say shipra kind of feel it comes from that woody notes it has but it's not like wood okay it's more woodsy right okay more uh, natural foresty sort of a pure woody smell and it, it's that natural smell of wood and i really love it I, that wood oh, i really get confused wood wood <laughs> but you see the trees okay let's say let's stick to trees for your understanding and my betterment or my uh, life being easier it smells like trees okay the whole body of the tree big big oak trees and stuff it smells like that so it's sort of like that uh, very linear afterwards you know it's like it's not gonna change so much like a lot of amouage they have complexity it changes this one's gonna be like a little bit green up top i don't know it's like eucalyptus sort of feel but they do not mention it they mention all the spices saffron i get that but on skin it lasts very long time but it's not gonna offend anybody that's the beauty of this fragrance so this fragrance was uh, sort of uh, suggested for springtime you know fall time when it's a little bit cooler but i think you can get away with this in summer as well when you are working in the office environment you got ac going on air conditioning no problem uh, you can wear this in high heat i wore it i absolutely felt absolutely okay it lasted on my shirt for more than eight to ten hours on skin perhaps it's not that prominent like i'll show you some of my other amouage i sold off three other amouage reflection jubilation 25 sunshine those were my favorites but i needed cash urgently i had to let them go currently i have my most favorite next to that one would be interlude man you know my baby amy lizard and me we love this equally this is one of the best amouage hands down leather and uh, like incense smoke it's a very ashy smoky fragrance then i have beach hut man i just reviewed it then i have lyric man this is like special mood sort of fragrance i can wear this every day the rose in this the weather has to be right you know this is like a beauty and a special occasion fragrance so apart from that i did review some other amouage i'm gonna get journeyman i'll tell you one thing if you want beautiful fragrance get journeyman that really is beautiful so now coming back to this this fragrance you need a match your nose this is not for beginners i'll tell you if you are just joining the fragrance game uh, by all means test it try it and try it for years number of years one to two years and uh, then perhaps you can actually appreciate or see the beauty of it this is very complex yet very simple sun but very classy it's definitely not casual fragrance okay um you can wear this in like if you have a office you know like they have office events if you are traveling uh, through business class i'm not trying to like make it in a category of very posh but it, it gives you that feeling of luxury that's what i'm trying to say you can wear anything anytime anywhere you want okay so uh, this is a fragrance i think the most one of the most underrated doesn't get so much love this fragrance is my number one am wash at this moment as you can tell i am really pumped up with this and literally because it suits my personality and my taste at this point but i'm gonna say <laughs> people out there who love invictus savage prada Lome, uh, sweet fragrances during intense this is totally completely different this kind of fragrance nowadays is not the most popular dna i'll tell you that much leather green woods smoke um, so these 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 notes you really if you want to deviate from whatever is coming out right now and you're tired of that blue uh, citrus and everything you can try this very uplifting very natural like you're sitting in a forest you're enjoying the zen uh, like zone <laughs> you like the zen state of your mind and absolute peaceful you know like everywhere else right so try amouage epic man longevity is fantastic smell wise i'll give you 10 this is perfect 10 in my club easily but uh, this is a very daring fragrance love it or hate it uh, but try definitely try it out okay this is just i got it for myself i know i have a page i do decanting and stuff i know this is not gonna sell <laughs> i know that much but I know one thing, I'm gonna enjoy this and cherish this for the rest of my life. This is a special M wash fragrance. 10 for me. And people out there, it's a I'm not gonna say love it or hate it, but definitely try worthy. Do not call it a pass. Perfect 10, M wash, epic man. That's my review for you today. And hopefully you have a nice day. Enjoy your remaining days of Eid. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.